Hello. Now, most of you don't do or don't know that I'm not specifically a gamer. In saying that, I have reviewed Resident Evil, the final chapter. Why am I bringing up gaming? Doom. Now, I only picked up this particular movie after I had met Carl Urban at Sydney Comic Con two years ago per this recording. Now, when I went to hear his panel, one of the people sitting next to me, I distinctively remember, telling me that Doom was a really good movie to watch. So I went out to my local JB Hi-Fi and picked up Doom. And I thoroughly enjoy it. I have I should um, state up front, I have never played the game. So I can only go from the movie. Now, this is one of the earlier movies in Dwayne's canon. Dwayne Johnston's canon. Even though I haven't seen one of his more recent movies, um, Don, um, um, Andreas Fault, the Andreas Fault movie a couple of years ago. San Andreas, that's him. Um, this is also an early movie of Carl Urban's. Now, I should say he had already done Lord of the Rings. One, two, and three, Ghost Ship, and the second, Rid It, by the time he did this. But this is probably where most people know him from. And this is also an early movie of Rosemary Pike. Now, if you've seen Gone Girl, she was also in that. Now, this is pretty much... A shoot 'em up sort of a movie, and I don't mind those type of movies to tell you the truth. Now the synopsis. Now the start of the movie at the uh, before even the movie starts, Rosemary and Carl's parents had been already to Mars and were research scientists, and they lost their lives on Mars. And it pretty much drove the twins apart. Yes, Carl, Ur Carl Urban and Rosemary Pike are twins. Rosemary went into the archaeological field, while Carl went into the Marines. And they pretty much don't keep in contact with each other until one of Rosemary Pike, Rosemary's colleagues calls in for backup when a monster is let loose during through the um, base that Rosemary is working on. Of course, Carl doesn't know this at the start of the movie. He just thinks it's a regular mission until Dwayne comes up to him and says, mate, take a hike. Go. You, I don't need you on this mission. But when he finds out where, he immediately gets involved. And that's when the crap hits the fan. And those monsters start going after Dwayne and Carl, respectively, and the rest of the gang that they bring from Earth. Now, that is pretty basic of a plot plot review it is pretty much a scientific sort of movie with a lot of shooting and a uh, cup a couple of really good battles including one with between Dwayne and uh, Carl themselves and a four and a half minute minute first person shoot up which took 15 days to shoot. I repeat, 15 days to shoot. Four, three, I think it was like three or four and a half minutes of film.
boy. Um, that's a lot for what for what amount? <sighs> and it's one that you can watch without watch even playing the game as I do. But I think you would get more out of Doom if you did play Doom 1, Doom 2, and I believe by the time this was released, Doom 3, Doom 3 were released. I think you probably get more out of the character setting and the, the characters um, if you know the games. So I can't say very much as a gamer, but... I love, um, I love it. I think for what Universal brought out in this, bloody hell, it's brilliant. Um, this is one I did pick up as a blind buy. I hadn't seen it before picking it up, and i thankful I picked it up and... I don't, no, I did watch this on um, Foxtel first, and then picked it up. That's it. Um, but there is a scene in this cut, um, which is just the normal Blu-ray cut, that was not in the Foxtel. Uh, I don't know if that was the, the theatrical cut of the movie or just um, that's a scene that. Um, to just back, put back in for the Blu-ray release. I've not seen it on DVD, so I can't really say to that. Um, but it's it's something that is pretty much a throwaway scene. Um, but it links to some of the questions that does pop up. I'm not going to reveal what the scene is. Watch it. Me holding it in my hands, I thoroughly enjoy it. Um. Gamer or non-gamer, you will thoroughly enjoy this movie. And I can't wait to hear what you have to say about Doom. Now, I should I should add that Now Playing Podcast is about to review this in a couple of weeks' time. Now, I can't wait to hear what they have to whinge about this movie. That will inspire me to go out and review this particular movie because they're currently doing a series about games and specifically games that were turned into movies which they have already done the Resident Evil movies so they're catching up on their gaming so I will also be reviewing the rest of the Resident Evil movies very soon so keep an eye out for that what do you think of those movies and what would you like me to review next? Please put it down in the comment section below and I can't wait to hear what you have to say. Ciao.